John and I are now going to demonstrate a basic combustion reaction, the basic combustion of acetylene gas. We will demonstrate first how to build an acetylene cannon. We will then take the calcium carbide, react it with water producing the acetylene gas, and ignite it to produce the combustion reaction. Acetylene, C2H2, and I will go to the board to show you that for a second, is a very simple reactive molecule, commonly referred to as ethyne. It has a triple bond, which makes it very reactive. What happens in the combustion of this is, of course, we produce carbon dioxide and water vapor. The calcium carbide reaction uh, is simply a reaction between calcium carbide and water which produces the acetylene. Now, what we use for the combustion reaction is a device that is called a carbide cannon, for lack of a better term. It is made of simple PVC parts that you can purchase in any uh, hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, etc. It consists of a piece of PVC pipe. Unfortunately, when you go to the store, sometimes you have to buy five or 10 feet of it, and you only want a piece of about 18 to 24 inches in length. It has an adapter, what is called a clean-out adapter. The clean-out adapter must be threaded, and it must have a clean-out cap, and the cap must thread freely into the end of the adapter. Uh, this is very important because if it doesn't thread freely and almost completely in, uh, it's liable to strip the thread when the combustion takes place. We then drill what is called a touch hole at the junction after we've glued these together and allowed the glue to set. We drill a small hole at the junction on a 45 degree angle. This is so that we can insert a barrel pipette and put water in for the reaction with the carbide. So we have a, a very simple device. Now, the combustion releases a lot of energy and a lot of gases. And what we do is we use this to launch a sock or a foam-filled mold. I have to warn you at this point, please, please, if you do this and use these in the classroom, never launch anything that is a hard solid, nor launch a Nerf ball, because Nerf balls catch on fire. So you have to be very careful of what you do launch, okay? Uh, and as a ver another safety feature, remember, never launch in the direction of your students as much as you may want to, don't do it. Uh, this is probably a demonstration which would best be done in the hallway or even possibly outside the building uh, if you have a small classroom, okay? What John and I are now going to do is we are going to, to charge the cannons with some uh, calcium carbide. Now, the amount of calcium carbide is not super critical. Uh, most directions tell you to put about a gram of the calcium carbide into the cap. Uh, a gram isn't very much, probably four or five standard lumps of the calcium carbide. And uh, this is going to go into the cap. Now you'll notice that this cap is recessed. That's an important factor because that acts as a little reaction vessel that is going to hold the carbide and the water as they react producing the acetylene. Once you have put the carbide in, you thread the cap into the end of your pipe, your adapter, and you can block off the other end. Now this is a, just a, an old sock that I got from a student uh, when we were using them to protect goggles so they wouldn't get scratched. Now, the sock is simply inserted into the end of the tube. John is going to insert a mole. Uh, yeah. Uh, I retired this past spring, and Charbut's going to retire 
after today. <laughs> um, we mentioned that there will be a noise. If you want to protect your ears, you cup them, okay, like this. Um, how loud a noise? Who knows? What may happen, uh, it happens to me from time to time. I'm sure it happens, it happens to George. It happens to me too. Once in a while, we'll squirt the water in, wait whatever feels like the right length of time, touch it off. Sometimes the combustion involves a flame coming out here. If that happens to either of us, what you're going to see is we'll just blow it back in. That will almost invariably make it work. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes Trubbett catches on fire, too. <laughs> but c'est la guerre. Once you uh, introduce the water in, it takes approximately 10 to 15 seconds Tops. of reaction time. Tops. You're not generating a large volume of gas, and it is mixing with air. Notice that mine is larger than George's. So I'm going to put the water in. I'll back up here and touch mine off. We'll probably touch them off at just about the same time. Within a week, yeah. Okay. You ready? Yep. Hear the combustion inside? Okay. What happened is any excess carbide burns off inside. Now, the smoking you, gun. <laughs> you will notice the effect of the sock is a very nice one because no matter how hard you roll it up uh, and no matter what you do with it, the sock opens up as it travels. And it opens up almost as soon as it leaves the barrel of the cannon. This is a very safe device. It's not going to break a window. It's not going to knock the lights out in the ceiling or anything like that. So that calling this knock your socks off is a pretty good uh, name for a demonstration. John's going to show you some of the reaction. Yeah, I don't know if we can get a look at what's in here, but I've still got a little bit of acetylene in there. I'm getting a little bit of bubbling. So the reaction's not done yet. Ultimately, I'm going to have um, calcium hydroxide in there. I think you can see the white foam in the cap of mine. And you will also see a little bit of gas still generating. Uh, it's probably best to put it into a fume hood if it's still ga off-gassing. Uh, just keep it away from open flames. Absolutely. Because it will burn. And you'll notice that it, we, it was pretty easy for both of us to unscrew those. When you're putting it together just before you uh, do the detonation, don't make it fully hand tight. Get it tight, back it up just a little bit. The, the threaded area does heat up. If you want to be able to unscrew it as we did here, you're going to have to give it a little bit of, a little bit of slack. That's a fun demo, Dad. So that's knock your socks off or moles in space, whatever you want to call it.